very sturdy. There's some pretty shitty things that have happened to people around here. Very sturdy. Now that we're on the bridge, I guess I can tell you why this bridge is what it is. So, do you even look just a little bit worried, or do you have to? Never mind, don't do this. This week of Muskie and Saul, we investigate Old Alton Bridge, a.k.a. the Goat Man's Bridge, as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, are ghosts real? However, tonight, this bridge and the woods that lie beyond it are said to harbor something much more sinister. Demons! Yeah, it's a demon. As I stated before, I will only do one demonic investigation per season, so behold, this season's sacrifice. Are you even like sitting on this bridge? You know, no, I don't. I can't this bridge. not showing you in the
if I go on my phone, it shows you. I wonder why it's not showing you on the stream yard part. <laughs> They're gonna put my name in graffiti. going on we got a food here oh now it's showing people in the chat what's going on there food food man chew not much is that saber tooth yeah it's gonna, gonna be a connecting cover with wolverine oh nice <laughs> right now <laughs> kind of looks like um What's that movie, Leprechaun? Oh. (laughs) (laughs) 
I can't believe how many of those that they made. They made a lot. Yeah, there's like 12. <laughs> I don't think any of them were good either, were they? <laughs> uh, probably the first one. It was all right. Had Jennifer Aniston. Oh, that's right. She was in one of those, huh? Yeah. I want to say someone else, too, that was pretty famous was in Leprechaun 1. Not 100% sure. But I know Jennifer Aniston was. That's funny. A very young Jennifer Aniston. I see we got Boswell in the chat. Yeah, and it's weird because when I first started is when he wrote What's Up. And I can only see it from my phone. I couldn't see it from the stream yard. Oh, yeah, it takes a while. There's a lag. Yeah. A hell of a lag. Because it didn't show up till you came in. <laughs> uh, end of the weekend. Yeah. Fucking. Okay. What's that? They had you working it early as fuck this morning? No, yesterday. I worked pretty much uh, all day yesterday. Oh, I thought you said it was... Oh, no, yeah, that's right. It was yesterday that you said that. Yeah. Oh, man, I got like a 7 a.m. call tomorrow morning. <laughs> to India? Yeah. Yep. It you could be, be worse. I could be West Coast. Those guys have it real bad. Why would it? Because... It's like 5 a.m. their time. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that, you know what sucks too is because, like, so I'm like, you know how I'm like, okay, I need to build a, a bigger following and stuff, and I want to do it, like, by not doing a giveaway, right? Mm hmm. So I've been looking into analytics and when's the right time to post and stuff like that. Right. 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. According <laughs> to 35 million posts. <laughs> that is the time to post. On Instagram? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I wonder on if you... On certain days, it's 5 a.m. And some days, it's 6 a.m. I think it's wow. the weekend... The weekend and like Monday is like 6 a.m. And then the rest is fucking uh, 5 a.m. or yeah, 5 a.m. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And that you can't schedule things with Instagram like you can with YouTube. No, no. And that's <laughs> the number one time to post. The, the truth is these platforms really are not very good. I mean, if you think about like the programs that we had in like the 90s and 2000s like you had so many more features than like the like it's so limited now like it's it's amazing what they're able to get away with just well, zero for, functionality yeah because they want you to look at ads yeah they don't want it's all to... it's it's all the dumbing down of the, the of society you know i mean it's like I don't know. I, I remember when they got rid of like the toolbar in like Microsoft Office because they it was too too complicated for people. Like what? <laughs> so retarded. And I yeah. I hate having to use the phone apps for certain features because they don't have the same features on some of the websites all the time. And it's like, man, like. Trying to do that with your thumbs, it's not very easy. Well, on Instagram, Instagram uh, is shit um, on the computer compared to the phone. You, like, you, oh, I know. You can't do certain things. Like they want it to be on the phone. Yep. Yeah, I use the I use the website on my computer for most everything, but it's very buggy. Like the messages yes. don't always come through right. You can't yeah. view certain photos. I don't think you can create a post. Maybe you can now. I don't remember. I don't think you, you couldn't can. for a while. 
there's there's a few things you can't do that i was like what the fuck no you can create a post now you can do that that's new i think but i guess they figure everybody's got a phone i don't know well they figure everybody wants to buy the shit in their fucking ads people are like wanting to oh instagram ads are the worst they have like no quality control like every one of them is a scam and it's they're so easy to spot and it's like almost every one it's like what are you doing it's because any just... collectible you see on an instagram ad guaranteed it's it's a fake oh yeah no i know i've i've, I've been through it i was one of those suckers that bought uh the oh it's got fucking 300 or 400 something games original nintendo games <laughs> right and then so you get you get it and then it's coming from china so it's it's gonna come like super l- slow like yeah is it fucking i think it took like i want to say and this is through content contacting the company and complaining a lot. I think it took almost almost a year. I, I want to say it was like ten or eleven months total. It was a it was years back <laughs> when I did this, but and the it, the Nintendo works great, you know, but it's three hundred something fucking bootleg games. They're not re- <laughs> real right. Nintendo. It's like. It's Barrio, not Mario. You know, like it's. Like, oh my god! <laughs> it's Wobble Bobble instead of Bubble Bobble. You know, like it, it's just a whole bunch of stupid shit. It, fake Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Like oh it god. is. Why do they even they, take the time to bother? Like that they can't be simple. It. They advertise it as all the Nintendo games. Yeah. Like, I think the only legit one on there was Contra and Super Mario 3. Well, and you know, the 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 trick there is then you call and you complain. They say, okay, send it back to us. And they give you an address and like, yeah, and you got Thailand or something. No, and it's no, like, yeah. it's going to cost you just as much as you originally paid. And it's like, and PayPal is like, sorry, those are the rules. Damn, did you have you looked in the chat, the live chat, to see what happened to Warlord with that artist? Yeah, yeah, I did. did. That did is you, crappy. Did you see everything that I did? No. <laughs> I was like, oh hell no, they're fucking with my kid. <laughs> 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 I went on. The, I went on that guy's page. And I was like, he's the, the his most recent post from today was showing off boxes of cereal that he bought. And I was like, oh, you bought this with Warlord's money, and you ain't sending them shit. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Like send that shit back. Like, oh my gosh, no, I, then, I'm seeing. This must have been when we were on Fanboys. I'm seeing yeah, it now. Yeah, I was blowing him up, and then so then I, I posted on another one of his uh, posts. Ivan posted on one of his posts. I saw Ivan's. <laughs> and then I was Bomb like, you know what? Page. Yeah, I was like, fuck this guy. So I was like, you know what? He's a brand ambassador because he's trying to do his fitness thing. He's trying people trying to get people to watch his journey and he's a brand ambassador for these companies. So I hit up the companies and I I showed him screenshots of what james said and fucking everything and i was like hey you want this guy representing your company because like right now i don't want shit to do with your company <laughs> oh my god you're kidding <laughs> no i wrote a bunch of shit to these guys I, I, like there's two companies two uh exercise companies that this guy reps and i was like no fuck this guy and i was like you guys want this guy you know and i was sh- showing him pictures i was like this guy's scamming the comic book community out of money <laughs> oh my gosh that don't is fuck amazing. with my kid man i'm telling you don't fuck with <laughs> you me, man. i go hard now if this was me he totally joined sides with them <laughs> no if it was you i'd go even harder 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. I'd be fucking. I'd still be going off on this guy if it was one of my really close friends. I mean, James is a friend, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me yeah. wrong i love i i, I kind of figured this was going to happen this way as soon as i saw james post that i was like well this guy's about to get blown up <laughs> yeah but only by me and i then everyone else yeah. says they would do it but they well don't. no and i saw how nice james was about it i mean he was letting like weeks go by between messages yeah. he was just it was clear he was getting the run around yeah and it's fucking james i mean he's the fucking nicest i mean yeah he literally is like I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gene, and I'm sorry, Magic Lasso, but James Uh-oh. is really the nicest guy in fucking the comic community. And when you fuck with a guy like that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, he glitter bombed me. I don't know that he gets that title. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but you've glitter bombed a lot of people. But then again, <laughs> then again, you're not saying you're the nicest guy. <laughs> I don't even think you could say that about yourself with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I don't see how you could fuck with James, though. Like, I'm sorry. And yeah, I don't understand why these people do it either. It's like you're going to get called out on it. And is it really worth it? It was like for what? Like a $25 commission? Like, yeah. like, like, like why? Like, fuck, dude. Like, at least throw some fucking backboards, you know, in and in some backboards and fucking ship it in an envelope if you don't have nine dollars. But clearly the guy has nine dollars. He's spending money on all this shit. I don't even <laughs> and, and right now I don't even think he drew that fucking picture. I think he just fucking screenshotted a picture of someone else's work. Oh, and, yeah, you know, because like why? Why? Yeah, because why wouldn't you send it? Why you know? wouldn't you send it after all this time? You know? Yeah, I don't know. That just doesn't make sense to me. And I hate that yeah. shit because, like, right now, you know, like, I, I'm dealing with, like, not being able to sell stuff and people being scared of artists and shit. And it's like, this motherfucker doesn't help, you know? Like, it doesn't help. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help the, like, uh, artist community. That are trying to make a living because people yeah. get people are gonna be scared to get commissions if pieces of shit like that aren't fucking following through with what they're supposed to send. I mean that's just that's fucked up. <laughs> Speaking of uh forgetting to send, I totally forgot about that book. The Squatchy and Foo with the signatures. Oh, I had uh, <laughs> I because I haven't had it for so long now, right? Uh-huh. And um, it got sent to Stan, and I for- totally forgot Stan was waiting for me to get him an address to send it to. <laughs> oh, for he finally us? hit me back up. He's like, you know, I still got that book. I was like, oh no. <laughs> so hopefully, uh. I'll have it come back my way and then I'll have to figure out because I don't even remember what I still need on it. I wonder if Stan uh, ever opened that AOK he got from our friend Tina because she sent him when I had that sale. Mm-hmm. She she bought him a book and I hit oh. him up and Stan hasn't been answering me when I hit him up. I'm not sure. I I messaged him and I uh, was like, hey, you know, and he, he said he was scared to open it because he thought glitter was going to be in it. <laughs> but that's the last I heard of him. And I was like, you know, weeks later, I messaged him again. Like, did you open it? Like, because I just wanted to see if he was happy with the book. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't heard. Yeah, I, I haven't talked to him. Uh, I know he had surgery and stuff, so I hope he's all right. But I'm sure he is. But he hasn't he hasn't been making no videos. I'm I not sure. I haven't seen any. 
Well, he must be okay because I spoke to him like last week. He hit me up just to, to remind me that I forgot that book. Yeah, but he hasn't. He hasn't. Uh, he hasn't posted any videos. I know he's been on Instagram because I see yeah. him pop up. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not showing that he read mine either from a week ago. I don't know. Maybe he is busy. Probably got something going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now this guy's stuff is showing up on my list <laughs> from Ivan, the scammer alert. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let that be a lesson to all of you. Yeah. You're going to make a deal with somebody. You got to follow through. If you don't, people are going to light you up. Oh, good. And Emmy Comics jumped in on it and fucking. Uh oh shit, he he ended up jacking M E comics. M E says that he went by another name and he jacked him for seventy five dollars a year ago. No way. Whoa. Where do you see that? Oh he private messaged me because uh Emmy oh. Com Emmy Comics just posted a scammer alert too. Huh. Crazy. Damn. So he's a fake artist. He he basically shows people pictures and says he's I gonna do a design and yes. Yeah, I went to his page, it was a little confusing. It was like like you said, cereal boxes and fitness and I'm blocked, I can't. <laughs> oh yeah, the account's private now. Oh yeah, he knows what he did. Yeah, he knows. He I'm knows fucking, what he did. He's going to lose his brand endorsements. I know that for a fact because those two brands both saw my message. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I know you're not supposed to fuck with people's money, but I don't think that's money. I think he's just repping the group. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, and he took a commission that he didn't. Yeah, he fucked with my son's money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna fuck with his. Fuck <laughs> that guy. He's got 109, 191 followers, and like I'm, I <laughs> if if I was able to see his followers, you better believe that I'd be fucking messaging all of them. <laughs> yeah, he's got like 3,200. I mean, it's not a small account. Yeah, I don't know why you'd mess around with it like that. Hey Ivan. I mean, I mean, he has a. Ivan's been tagging his brand reps. <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, I messaged him. I sent him DMs. <laughs> Fuck the, like this guy. He puts these in about fitness. Fucking faggot ass. Can't say. F <laughs> I and I, I, I had to re redo my post two times because I wrote faggot twice, and I was like, yeah. Really? <laughs> You probably can't write it, but I mean, he literally is like, you know, because when you were young, I'm sorry, we didn't we didn't call people faggot, and it meant gay. Faggot no. meant like you were a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Like you were a, a scumbag. Like faggot didn't mean gay. Oh, there's many terms like that that like yeah. are part of our just the way you grew up talking, and it doesn't mean what people think, you know? Yeah, but. And that's one that I, I fucking continuously fuck up and I say, like, loud sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, I don't give a shit. It's just a cigarette. What are you going to do? Cancel me? <laughs> Squatchy's uncancelable. <laughs> he can't fuck <laughs> he's, he's made sure that he's made himself uncancelable. <laughs> <laughs> Like that shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man. Yeah, I miss the days when you didn't know what was on everyone's mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even on people's minds. It's most people, they just want to fucking be a part of the fucking squad that is winning or something and I don't know like yeah
you know, for the longest time, I used to thought that I used I used to thought I sound like fucking Ricky. <laughs> I, I used to think that this shit was his hair on his chest for the longest time, but it's a part of his fucking outfit. Wait, did you just erase some of that? No. Where? I I wasn't paying attention to screen, but you had more drawn there. What happened to it? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I've just been inking. I haven't taken nothing off. What happened to his whole, like, sash thing? It's right here. That's what I was talking about right now. That I used Oh, to you know what? Hair. No. <laughs> I'm sitting there staring at the paused YouTube screen from when it oh. started. I'm not on the StreamYard tab. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I've been <laughs> I was like, did time. you erase it? Like, what happened to it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's race. right here. Uh, that's why I noticed it wasn't moving. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. That's all good. <clears throat> Man. That was fun, though. And I'm happy <laughs> that Ivan, Ivan joined in, too. <laughs> hey you know when it comes to money i mean if somebody bought something you, you gotta call people out if they're just messing around they're not sending yeah, it like people scam- need to know because somebody else is gonna get scammed you know and the fact that he took his account private right away i mean that tells you pretty much all you need to know because if there was <laughs> like some kind of well there wouldn't be a legitimate excuse after weeks on end but even still you if it really was just like you being a dumbass, at least you should come out and be like, yeah, I screwed up. I'm sending the book. But to go private like that, that just says, yep, yeah, I know. I'm a douche. Like no one else in the comic community is going to see that. Like, dude, like, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Like, I'm going to make sure people fucking see it. Do you think today's is going to be the only day I post that? <laughs> <laughs> come on, guy. You're going to have to unblock me and tell me you're sorry for fucking with my kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry. That's the only way. That Poor Jimmy Ray. Fix. Fuck uh, that guy. Messing hell with yeah, I don't money. care if it is $2. And honestly, it's almost worse that it is a smaller amount. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It was like, because when James mentioned it was like a $25 commission, I'm like, you... You skipped out on 25 bucks, really? <laughs> like, well, and ME said $75 when he used to go by a different name. So, wow. I, I wonder how many other people got scammed with fake drawings. Because, like, I guarantee you, if he's done it more than once, he ain't drawn. He ain't drawn that shit. He's well, and he doesn't mention artist. being an artist on his page either. Like, yeah, I had to scroll says, down quite says, a while. It says fitness and then art artist Uh, that's why i'm like nah dude (laughs) oh sorry because i i went and i gave just because of that the shit you know this the the artists are fucking having a hard time right now and people like that make it even harder oh he does have a second account yeah hold on is it a comic account it's no but it's like the same stupid photos Oh, send it to me in a private message because I'm going to fucking blow his day up. (laughs) It is. Like, a lot of them are the same photos. Fuck this guy. Fucking with my child. I don't think I trust anybody that poses for the camera flexing their muscles. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like I like I, you know what? I'm all about the fitness weight loss, you know, because I'm trying to lose weight my damn self, but I'm not gonna be posting saggy skin pictures <laughs> pretending to be buff. You know what I mean? To people like uh, it's just that's not more than Yeah, no. Cause How's that going for you, by the way? It actually I like I know this is going to sound corny but not 
not drinking soda, drinking a lot of water, and walking every day. Yeah. I've, I can tell I'm losing weight by the way my legs look, the way yeah. my, the way my stomach looks. I can tell nice. that fat is leaving it. You know what I mean? Cause I've been doing oh, yeah. it for like two months. No, I have been drinking water straight since April. Oh dude, drinking water and cutting out soda. Like those two things alone, you should have huge results. It's slow, it's slow, but I've noticed a huge difference, you know, because it's not something, it's not something that I talk about with everybody, but I do, like, I, I've got health issues, and I've noticed since I've started doing that, stuff improving, so, like, it's, you know, it's but, awesome. but you're not going to see me fucking saying I'm a fucking brand ambassador for fucking some fucking powder company or anything. <laughs> uh, well, congrats. I hope you keep up with it. That, oh, no, that I'm not going to stop. I, I don't want to die. If I was going to continue the route I was going, I I'm, I most surely would be dead before 50. Yeah. Well, it, uh, you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, but and, but you're right. Once you start seeing some of the improvements and benefits, no, it's, like it's it, it motivates motivating. you. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wearing a furry suit improves your health. It keeps you warm in the winter. You know, I mean, yeah. When you guys are you out seen... there chattering teeth, you know. Yeah, but hold I'm on, Joey. nice cozy in there. You know, munching on some acorns. Hold on, Joey, because this is what you look like when you come out of that fursuit. <laughs> Dude, whatever. <laughs> After a long time, this is what you look like when you come out that bitch. You <laughs> look like a, you look like you're just a big old wrinkly nutsack. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure you recognize who that is. Whatever. <laughs> uh, he ain't ever going to send me a picture after he goes to the furry convention again. <laughs> All right. One second, I'm writing this guy on Instagram. A whole body band-aid for a year. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, yeah fuck I'm that. Sure. It's like wearing a whole body band-aid for a year. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be a, a funny squatching foo if I was to do it like that. You dressing up in your squirrel suit, but in like... What's that movie where that chick wears those high socks and the sweatshirt and she dances <laughs> what <laughs> where she high socks. Do, 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 her, her, her feet you just see her feet going do, 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 and she starts dancing watch crazy ivan's gonna know the name of that movie kind of like dirty dancing or something no it's like dirty dancing or it's like footloose but it's something else with a chick and it's flash dance that, yeah it's known for that uh, scene where she's dancing, she's in that gray sweatsuit. I gotta draw <laughs> you. I gotta draw you in that gray sweatsuit. Whatever. See, that's why Squatching Foo needs to be a cartoon. Because <laughs> it would be so much funnier. <laughs> yeah, Ivan likes flash dance. <laughs> Gosh. That was a long time. I remember being a real little kid when that was on. Yeah, didn't all the guys like that movie? I never. It was seen a TV it. show, right? Oh no, I thought it was a movie about some broad. Uh, am I thinking of something else? Maybe it was a movie. I don't know. There was a TV show too of something similar like that. 
Welcome, Ivan will know. <laughs> welcome back, Cotter. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ivan says it was a movie. What was the TV show where they were like in New York and they, I think they were like dancers of some kind. I don't know. <laughs> Sex in the City? No. <laughs> food to that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Joe knows the lingo. <laughs> oh god. He knows he knows you out there on the streets fooling. He <laughs> <laughs> better never come out with like a serious furry movie. I'll never hear the end of it. Oh man, come on. <laughs> that one movie was excellent. The one we got banned for? <laughs> yeah. What was it? Furry Nights? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still have that whole episode. I know. I gotta watch that shit. There's another one out there. That... I would love to know how we got busted for that. I, like part of like I think I kind of hope it was at like the same time. It it was it was like the it was the night it came out. <laughs> it was literally live, like it was live premiere, and we were. We were yeah. Uh, I would I would like to think that it was like somebody associated with the film was like, oh hell no, <laughs> <laughs> like, these two idiots. <laughs> yeah. What did that guy just say? <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I still don't understand the rules, nor do I care enough to read through them all and yeah, make sense of it. I don't understand like, who wants to do that? that? But people because do that, right? They, yeah, they do the fucking live reactions. That's what doesn't make sense to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's not like we were just simply like re-airing the show. We were commenting. <laughs> yeah, we were enjoying. We were watching. Yeah. That's a movie I'd watch again. I don't understand. <laughs> you you think that they'd want us out there doing that, you know, spreading yeah. the love and word about their their great movie? Yeah, because I mean, if they knew like how much promotion they get from me, <laughs> 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 I love oh, that well. you and Gary decided to show up to fanboys chat tonight and sit there arguing in the chat over who works more. Yeah, but you see what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I'm talking and working. That's true. Gary is not capable. And <laughs> you, you know, you cannot even lie and say <laughs> that you have not witnessed him just fucking not work <laughs> for two to three hours. That I fucking, may have seen that. The name of his fucking podcast is the most <laughs> insulting fucking thing. <laughs> It pisses me off every <laughs> fucking weekend. Does he know this? Yeah, that's why he does it. Good. I was going to say, because somebody needs to let him know that it bothers you. So he keeps oh, it, it up. Oh, it fucking drives me crazy. It drives me crazy more. I'm going to tell you this, and you're <laughs> going to love this. It drives me crazy more than seeing Andrew Lincoln's face right next to me. <laughs> Because I love Dinosaurs vs. Marsbots so fucking much. I just reread it last night. Again, just to fucking read it. Even though <laughs> Gary pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> I read it again just because I was like, I bet there's something that I didn't fucking see before. That Have I you can figured see. out the hidden codes? I'm damn near... I, I, he, he knows... <laughs> He knows I'm I'm fucking right there on the alien language. I can almost decipher it completely. <laughs> get out of here. No, I swear to God, I get almost all of the words right now. Almost <laughs> all of them. But he even says there's words that he won't even, he's not going to even, you know, uh, tell people because he wants to leave it, you know, the mystery of, you know, you don't know what they're saying. Yeah. But yeah, he's a little he's a little bastard. 
Yeah. The little, you know, because he's just, he does it to piss me off. He's not going to watch your show to watch it. He's going in the hopes that I'll see him in the fucking live chat. <laughs> and he knows it. And if he was here right now, he'd have that smug little grin. And he's probably watching, laughing. Oh yeah, I'm sure. But this is but he he wouldn't be able to not say something. <laughs> That's how like you know what I mean? Like he, he he fucking loves it. And I don't get it. Why would you treat your number one fan like I just I don't understand. Like I, I feel like I should be loved. <laughs> I wish, I wish I had a fan that was so dedicated that they were like, fucking, you need to fucking get back to work, you know? Like, you got something that's supposed to be coming out. Let's see if he's online. Oh, oh he, five minutes ago he was. He, yeah, not working. Not fucking working. Yeah, I know what you're doing, you asshole. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I know what you're fucking doing. You're messaging <laughs> him right now saying Spots is live right now. He's talking about you. <laughs> that is not at all what I said. You're such a fucking liar. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gary, Gary, come out to play. <laughs> oh, I hope he joins now. <laughs> He's going to come in and see the chat talking about him. <laughs> yeah. I should change the title of this to fucking always fucking working, Gary. <laughs> or actually fucking working, Gary. <laughs> you guys have to like insult each other through your titles <laughs> yeah well i just another thing another thing that I just, <laughs> oh we're I, getting the full gary vent here tonight yeah I'm so another glad thing I, I fucking i fucking love so much gary i fucking love this shit <laughs> is that my name's in the fucking title 19 fucking weeks 19 fucking weeks how many fucking months is that 19 fucking weeks have I ever been asked to come on the show? <laughs> and you know what he said when I asked him? I was like, hey, man, I think I asked him at 17. And I said, hey, 17 weeks and you, you've never had me on the show. He says, OK, well, we got to plan that out because we need like a talking criteria that we got to stick to with you. Yet he has motherfuckers on there that just fucking ramble on about fucking bullshit. Oh, Gary. <laughs> That's because he's seen mystery, man. And he doesn't want what's happened on my channel to happen to him. Oh, come on. <laughs> he's like... Fu brought him on, and now Fu is a furry. Like, yeah. that, that's what's going on in his head. Well, he's a fucking furry, too. <laughs> <laughs> he He's a he's a hoity-toity furry. Is the fancy furry? Yeah. He's the, he's the fancy white. <laughs> I believe that's what he said. He and didn't he say says, that. I love that. I love that episode. Him <laughs> sitting there telling people that he's not a fancy white as he holds his fancy white coffee mug in the fanciest <laughs> fucking possible way that you can hold it. <laughs> <laughs> While he's sitting in front of fucking jazzercise weights. Flipping his hand. like Flipping his hand. Throwing <laughs> his hair behind his ear. <laughs> Oh, this that guy. was a good one. Yeah. I was glad I showed up for it. That was a funny episode. Because it was like, 
everyone on the podcast was the f- fanciest white person they could fucking be. <laughs> and he didn't actually end up getting the speeding ticket, right? Wasn't it like a warning? Yeah. So Man. check that white privilege. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy motherfucker. Oh, that's great. He says he's not fancy white. I uh, love it. Because, <laughs> like, as, a, as a, and I told him too. I was like, out of the like the fanciest of white people that I know, you were the one that came to mind when I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> and I love him. I love him, even though he treats me like shit. You know. <laughs> <sighs> Well, he's got to keep his boundaries with you, you know? You're, oh, yeah. He, he keeps way a lot of fucking boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, convinced that he hates me. He named his podcast after you. He doesn't hate you. It's to troll me. That's something. Like, come on, man. That's trolling. You wouldn't do that if you hate someone, though. You know, oh, you're just upset me, that you got replaced me, as favorite. Let me name... Let me name a podcast after the guy that is constantly trying to get me to finish my comic book. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking go live on this show for three hours and not fucking talk about the comic book. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, he did like on one of his recent ones, but he was talking about his new his new idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you he, he maybe the next DVSM won't be his next book out. Yeah. <laughs> you would riot. What good would it do? I'd have to show up to the motherfucker's house. <laughs> and, yeah, and this is the thing. This is the thing. Okay? Cuz cuz I'm Are you listening, happy. Gary? He's yeah, literally yeah, threatening yeah. to show up at your house. Yeah, listen up, Gary, <laughs> because I know I know Foo fucking messaged you right now and told you to listen. So when you're, when you're done eating your fancy white dinner or whatever you fucking cooked, some fucking creme brulee fucking... <laughs> creme fucking, brulee chicken? Fucking <laughs> boiled over fucking eggs over my hammy or whatever the fuck you're eating. <laughs> Just know this, Gary. I've got your address. And you're only two hours away. Oh gosh! You're only two hours away. If Fu was two hours away, you better believe I've already I would have already been at his house, <laughs> fucking with him, putting cardboard cutouts of furries in his front yard. Oh god! You better believe I would do that if I was <laughs> only two hours away. And Fu doesn't troll me like you do, Gary. That's all I'm saying. I don't. I've got to. I've got to try harder. Yeah, Fu, Fu, <laughs> Fu, Fu, Fu trolls me, but it doesn't get my heart like you, Gary. <laughs> <sighs> but now, but now, see, Fu knows how to get to my heart now, Gary. Because <laughs> of you. Bastard. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna he's gonna enjoy his coffee tonight when he's listening to this. He could be working, to be fair. I almost fucking guarantee he's not. He's he's playing a video game where he's watching some fucking documentary on fucking when they started using doilies or some shit. <laughs> Doilies. Did you ever see what he posts on Facebook? I'm telling you, the dude. I don't use Facebook. The dude is not is not winning the "I'm not a fancy white" contest. <laughs> Poor Gary, and he's not yeah. even here to defend himself. Somebody should let him know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure they haven't. <laughs> It's so funny you said that. Literally, my comment to him was, Squatchy is talking about you on his live stream. (laughs) 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 
You're like, I know exactly what you're putting. Yeah. It's like, damn, it's like he's reading it. Yeah. You think I don't know? I know you. The second I started talking about him, I knew he was going to get a message. I was just waiting for him to fucking pop up. Because at some point, it's going to say, I'm always working, Squatch. <laughs> and then our buddy Jim, I know he does it just to fuck with me, too. He, 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 it's always when I'm giving Gary a, a certain hard time and then fucking Jim fucking will pop in on his broadcast and then just get him talking about random fucking shit. <laughs> like, like there's this one time that I forget what episode it was, but he was doing nothing but talking about DV, DVSM. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is what this podcast is supposed to be like. This is this is it, and then I should have never fucking said that because this right after, right after, all of them just were like, "Oh no, he's actually enjoying this." <laughs> <laughs> like you were learning so much about dinosaurs versus Mars bots in that one, and it was like, "Oh, dude, this is what I fucking thought this was gonna be." Like we were gonna see his process. His thought process, you know, like maybe get backstory to some of the stuff that he's done and shit. Like, you, like you can make this so fucking interesting. But no, let's talk about the Last Jedi. Let's talk about fucking oh. some dead poet. Last yeah. Jedi. Oh, what did he stand- like about that movie so much? I don't know, but it's in his top three. Oh my goodness. Actually, yeah, I went to go click on that today, but I guess it was like, it was, or maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. Oh no. He's I got agree. a video coming out, but I didn't, I realized it was yeah, his set top, in the future. Yeah, it's all his top five stuff that he's doing. It's another fucking thing to drive me crazy to show that he's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I still stand by it. Like, as you can see, I have not worked on my comic in like a week. All right, and I'm only on page two. I promise you, I will be done before him. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Do you think this is going to motivate him to 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 no. work faster? Hell no. <laughs> he is running on fucking turtle gas. Maybe he's just busy, you know. He's not busy. He's, playing <laughs> he's not <video>. busy. <laughs> he's playing video games and going to the opera. Going to the opera? <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, is it? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. He's a fancy white. That's what the fancy whites do. They go to operas and they 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 post politics shit. All day. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm next next time he's live streaming. I'm gonna hop in there. I'm just gonna start like asking him random questions, like, does he prefer this or this, right? And I'll look up some opera names, and we'll see if he like, like, oh yeah, this one's better. We'll we'll, we'll catch him. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. You already know he's a big fan. You can tell. <laughs> You can tell by the jazzercise weights. <laughs> that was the greatest comment ever. <laughs> <laughs> I've never let him fucking forget it either. Ever since I saw those, I was like, why do you got jazzercise weights? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, there's there's no way around that. Like, I'm sorry. Those are those little weights. Like, that's a jazzercise weight. You wear those with your little... A uh, leotard and your high socks. Hamilton or Phantom? <laughs> yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Good old Gary. Man, I rubbed out all his face here just from the the pencil yeah like because of me putting my hand on the paper 
Yeah. But this one, I actually, because most of the time I make stencils and I put it on, but this one, I sketched it on, like, without using a stencil. Like, because I usually I'll make my stencil lines clean on the computer, print it out, make a stencil. Mm. And then, just so I'm not doing a lot of damage to the book. But this one, you can see, like, I was fucking drawing it and erasing and drawing and erasing and... I didn't like how the stencil looked. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, I'll just draw it on there. But <clears throat> I erase, you know, it to so it doesn't leave heavy what is it, lead? Right? Yeah, some kind of graphite or something. But yeah, I mean, you cover all that up with the color, though, right? Yeah, but if you use light colors, it'll fucking... It oh, pulls, yeah, it'll still come through. Smudges and stuff, and since fucking Sabretooth has a lot of light colors, like yellow and so is Wolverine, I was like, ah, gotta do this the old school way. I was thinking I'm just going to do this one like I did the other Wolverine and just do blood splatter in the background. But Oh, because, yeah. Because of all this pencil, it just depends on if I could get this pencil erased off. Because <coughs> if I can't, then I don't know if I want to leave it white. When does um, Tales of the Walking Dead come out? The new one. Well, this is the one. That what day of the week? The one they. So the third one, the Alpha episode, is on TV tonight, but it came on AMC Plus last weekend. Oh. So I've been able to watch all three. Yeah. But the I've newest. Seen all three. The newest one came on AMC Plus tonight. Oh. All right. So are you going to watch the fourth one then? Yeah, just to watch them all, but... I'll see if I can... The Alpha episode... The Alpha episode is good until you realize that the writers clearly did not fucking read the comic book, nor did they fucking watch that fucking season of <laughs> Whispers. <laughs> because they're fucking idiots. Because Alpha, the first person to wear a skin mask is Beta. He cuts off his best friend's fucking face and brings it with him. Because oh. that's why he didn't want to leave that building, because his best friend was a walker and was there. And he didn't want to leave him. So Alpha told him to take him with her. Or with him. So he cuts the face off. And that begins the Whisperers wearing masks. So you watch this episode of Tales of the Walking Dead. Yeah. And Alpha meets No, you're right. Beta wasn't... You're right. Beta wasn't even mentioned in it. and yet And she was going by D, not A. Like yeah. how she said to Beta. All right. And Lydia is older in this episode. And she's young in yep. the Beta episode. So yeah. how the fuck does she meet a group of whisperers <laughs> and with the knockoff the knockoff alpha? Because she takes her mask off and it's a it's a it's a strong woman leader again. The whispers, you know, like, and so it's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 yeah, a no, fucking it was insult. 
it was an okay episode to watch, but yeah, there was all kinds of things that just didn't seem right to the character. It was it was hard to put my finger on. I mean, you've read the book, so you've done a much better job. But yeah, but Ivan, it's... there's Tales of the Walking Dead that's coming out. It's this new series. They're one, they're single episodes, so like you get a story from start to end in a single episode about. Well, the People first that don't two were fucking matter. Yeah, the first two were just randoms, and then the third one gave the origin of Alpha, which, as Squatchy's mentioning, is was yeah, zombies are so twenty eighteen. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, the kicker, the fucking kicker is, do you like? Do you like Bill Murray? I fucking love Bill Murray. I fucking love him. Bill Murray. Bill Murray is a fucking god. Okay, he is God. If you ever watch the documentary, there's a documentary where people are like, he might be God. I believe it. Okay, <laughs> but you disrespect a God by making a fucking cheap ass Walking Dead episode. Is he in? Which one's he in? Day to Groundhog. Oh, day? oh, yeah, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? And, and I- the worst. The worst part of that fucking episode is that they're out of the, they're losing their fucking minds that they're zombies. Why are yeah. you not losing your mind that you're stuck in a time loop? Like that's never fucking happened to anyone in the fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> like why aren't you fucking talking about that? Why aren't you concerned that you're in a fucking time loop? <laughs> Dude. Like, uh, I- and and I want us to like try to go live tomorrow because so we we had this idea we we're gonna go live and discuss this show but uh, so I want to get more into it but yeah like when my wife and I were watching that episode we were just sitting there like I just don't understand what I'm watching right now like I'm I thought I was watching The Walking Dead yeah this makes no sense in The Walking Dead universe I don't get it why is there so much comedy the only the, the the one thing that was going through my mind i was trying to make sense of it i'm like they have to be going somewhere with this right it's all going to make sense in the end it's the only thing i could tell myself and i was like could it be that like maybe they've already been bitten and we're just like seeing like the crazy thoughts in their head as they start to turn like i i just cuz i couldn't fathom that it was actually what it was and no it was no it was it was i just wow it's such an insult it's such an insult that's why i don't feel bad about selling all my walking dead stuff because i i just can't for the life of me imagine how robert kirkman could let them do that to something that is so iconic yeah the walking dead had the potential to be as I don't, I don't care who disagrees with me it had the potential to be as big as star wars the way that they were going to build this universe it could have been bigger than star wars it had such a fandom but because they took I don't on think they knew where these, to go with it you know and you know what it all but, goes and the same to- is true with star wars they didn't know where to he didn't know where to go with that you know the difference <laughs> Star Wars was six hours, you know? Yeah. The Walking Dead, like, had doubled that in the first season, you know? Yeah, but you know what? The first and second season were fucking epic. And you oh, yeah. Why? Frank Darabont. Frank Darabont is the original fucking writer, creator uh, of all that shit. And Frank Darabont, there was all that drama, and he got fired and everything. And it's because they said that he couldn't handle being a showrunner for that (laughs) show. When this motherfucker has put out movies, he picked the most amazing cast. And you know what? There was only two people, two people that were on his, that stood by him. And not one other person of the Walking Dead cast stood by him and guess who died at the end of season two both of those fucking people Lori and Shane oh yeah well Lori 
I think she went to season three, the beginning of season three. You said they stood behind them? Yeah, they they were the ones that were like, if you fire him, we're going to leave and stuff like that. Like, Oh, wow. Wow. It's funny. I, I met both of them. Those were the two that I've met. Uh, and you, my, and you hate first fucking Lori. You know, in, in the show. Oh, in the show, yeah. Her, no, and she was comic, wonderful in person. Yeah, in the comic, you hate her. But she was an actress, and she was taking her role serious. She knew yeah. she needed to be hated. She knew what her character was going to be. Yeah. You know? And, and like, that, that makes me... Like, I haven't watched the Punisher series. But Why? Now I, now, I don't know. It's I good. Just, I, he, it's not fantastic. Like, the, sto- the story... It could have been better. But, I mean... Um, what's his name acting? I mean, no, yeah, he's that's a great why. Punisher. Now, now I want to watch all his stuff because I watched his podcast with her on it and everything. The Lori Kelly or whatever her name is. Yeah. And that played Lori. Uh, and I heard them talking about it and how they were backing up Frank Darabont and everything. And that totally makes sense because that season and all that shit, it was written a different way. It was totally written a different way, and that's what made that's what gained them millions and millions of viewers. Yeah, Walking Dead got so fucking viral and popular when it first came out. And oh then, yeah, I and then, I mean it was one of those shows where every week we were there on the couch yeah. watching, like, and then all the SJW bullshit and the fucking all this crap gets added to fucking please people that don't even fucking watch the show. Yep. Oh, it's, it's like that with all the franchises now. Yeah. And yeah, and they are not the people watching the show. Like that much is very clear. Oh no. I just watched another video today. Like you like, okay. I don't know if you've watched it. Okay. But she Hulk. All right. I have no interest. Yeah. A lot of people have no interest. It's, It's the she Hulk comic books. Like, they're funny. There's some that it's funny, you know, and stuff like that. Like, yeah, she was the original one to break the fourth wall, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, like, you you're going off of that, then like, yeah, she Hulk. That sounds like a of like it'll be a fun show, right? And you know what? To a point, it is. However, it's that Disney bullshit that they're doing, and it's like they're they're the shit about Hulk. They fucking made the Hulk, like, and a lot of people are making points about this too. Like, in the first first time you see the Hulk, he rages out, destroys a fucking city, fights, you know, abomination, all this other crap. Yeah. Okay. In Avengers, Hulk goes fucking nuts and fucks up all those fucking aliens when they're fighting in the fucking Battle of New York and everything, and he yep. fucking punches that space whale monster dead in the face, just standing still. <laughs> okay. He can't fucking take on a Jeep with She-Hulk driving? Oh, yeah, I know. You know I, I've I mean? seen that stuff, yeah. Like, I, I've seen the critiques of it. I mean, it so looks then, terrible. So you get all this. <clears throat> the woman is more powerful. The men are stupid. All the men on the show are idiots the way they come off. And they need women's help. They need they need the women's help for everything, right? Okay? And I love women. Don't get me wrong. But this shit has got to stop. It's, it's, what is it? Toxic femininity or whatever they fucking call it. Okay. And just to show, just to show how piece of shit the writers and all the shit for these shows are, the fucking showrunner never read the fucking comics, doesn't know any of the source material. Oh my God. Had to scrap two written <clears throat> episodes because they weren't allowed to use the characters. But she never fucking. D- paid the attention to even talk to other Marvel writers for the shows to see if she could use the fucking characters. This dumb bitch said it on a podcast that wow. she didn't read any of the stuff. How are you writing for a character that you know nothing about? Only what you're yeah. told. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. See you, Gene. Gene was here? Yeah. What the fuck? Sneaking in here, little sneaky Canadian. <laughs> I didn't even see me. this guy. 
sneaking in, sneaking around. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're doing this to all the stuff. And it, you're right. I mean, it, it needs to stop. It's just like, you, there's, it, it's just dumb. It's it's like, they're, it's so obvious what they're trying to do. And it's like, why do you got to like tear down to like pull yourself up? Like, it's just, it, it's stupid. Like, just make a fun show and people will watch it. I canceled my, uh, uh, what you call it uh disney plus i'd rather just pirate that shit now after after uh, yeah i won't pay for it after obi-wan i just i can't for me it was um what the hell i, I what 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 is that movie called is it rise of skywalker i think that's the name of it yeah it was it was just it was so bad and it had I mean, I saw where it was all going and it was like, yeah, no, like I'm not going to support it anymore. And, you know, I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars collector. I mean, I've got multiple <laughs> lines that I was collecting for. And uh, yeah, I just I'm done. They lost yeah. me, you know, uh, Star Trek. I was a huge, huge Star Trek fan. I, I know some people like Discovery, but. When those new movies came out and then Discovery was just the final straw for me, I was like, all right, well, I'm done with Star Trek 2 now. Great. And I don't even want to watch the Lord of the Rings coming out. That one's just depressing. I love Lord of the Rings since I was a kid. And just those movies were so fantastic. Uh, it just like it, it, they truly did bring the books to life. And I mean, like there was little differences here and there, but. I mean, they were fantastic movies. Uh, yeah, no, to I see what they're that. where they're going with it is just depressing. Yeah, I haven't watched the Hobbit movies yet because I felt like that was them just trying to squeeze money out of people. Well, the Hobbit was the prequel. Say it was good. It, it was good. It was good. It wasn't as good, but you got to remember the Hobbit was a single book. Like I think what they shouldn't have done is they shouldn't have made it three movies. They could have shortened it maybe to two, but, um, but the Hobbit was actually my introduction to Lord of the Rings when I was a kid. I loved that book. So it was a cool story to tell. I mean, I'd recommend going to watch the movies. They're good. <sighs> Dude, the clip that I love though, that's going around is that stupid woman claiming that she's the first female dwarf on film. Like she's actually said those words. Like, a, why is that important? <laughs> B, no, you're not. Like, no, you're not in any way. There's been female dwarfs on film many times. And oh, by the way, in the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit, I think. Yeah, but not just that. Before Lord of the Rings, Willow. I I know. I mean, that's the point. Like, it's it's so absurd, and she just keeps saying it, and it's like, wow. Is it is it some fucking TikTok broad? No, it's the actress oh. from the show. It, this what new show? Amazon Prime show that they're doing. It's like a prequel to Lord of the Rings. And it's... Oh, this dumb bitch. It looks absolutely miserable. Because there's like all this source material that they have that Tolkien wrote that you can pull from. People have read it and people like it. But, yeah, um, but that means you can And they're just changing work. it all. That means What's you can do extra work and read and read. Exactly. Yeah. And no one wants to do that anymore for all these important fucking titles. Yep. That shit blew my mind today when I saw the podcast about this bitch fucking saying that shit. Like, how are you going to write for a show and you've never fucking read, uh, read anything about it? And well, and the whole too, like, like, do you, I, I, I don't think you read it, but I'm sure you remember no. all the buzz around Immortal Hulk. Yeah. Uh, a the couple Hulk years horror. ago, right? It's like horror. Because it was horror. Exactly. Like yeah. people loved it because it was going back to the, the true Hulk. Right. I mean, even when I was a kid, I mean, like maybe not quite so much horror, but like Hulk was always like, I mean, he was just like raw power. Right. And he's a rage. He's full of rage. 
Yes, and then he's like, but he's conflicted too with like, you know, and like it, it, it's a fantastic character. Like, I mean, I've always loved it. I've got this huge collection of it behind me. I've just been going through all my books, and like my whole collection is one of my biggest, right? And I've got She Hulk in there. Um, but like the clips I've seen of the show, that is not in any way the Hulk as I see him, you know, or or the Hulk that I'm collecting <coughs> for. Like it's just this weak little like oh, it's terrible. Yeah. I don't uh, I don't know why they think people want to see that. <sighs> I don't know. They've got Hulk fucking chilling on a beach in Mexico listening to fucking Coldplay and shit and yes Ivan's right the original Hulk show was edgy for the fact it was scary to kids waiting for the monster to appear absolutely when I was a little kid dude all I could wait for was was yes for him to Hulk out and it was it was it was a little scary and that was fun See, there's pencil there, and now it's fucking gray. God damn it. <sighs> but then again, this is a fucking Wolverine Marvel cover, so it's gonna fucking be glossy as shit. Fucking Marvel. <laughs> this is why I fucking hate Marvel. Another reason right here. It's because I went through... Did all this line work, and it's just going to smudge off because Marvel's a cheap-ass son of a bitch. I can't believe that one fucking artist tried fucking telling me like I didn't know what I was talking about about the Marvel paper. You guys are (laughs) witnessing this shit right now in front of your fucking eyes, and this fucking guy tried to act like I didn't know what I was fucking talking about. Look at the color of this guy's fucking forehead. Yeah. Gray, smush. I'm going to show you what this color looks like without that gray smush. See that peachy orange color? (laughs) Yep. Not gray smush. But Frank Kadar, the almighty powerful sketch artist of the world, thinks that I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Marvel paper. I just think that he's trying to get a cover with Marvel or something. And he doesn't want to badmouth them. I could give a fuck less about Marvel. (laughs) (laughs) Use better paper, motherfucker. Like, come on. To skimp out on something that people are supposed to do art on and you make it impossible for them to do art on, why the fuck even make it? Yeah, you would think that they'd want really high quality paper for that. DC does. I uh, fucking DC as the clowns they are, they use the <laughs> best the best fucking paper on all their titles. <laughs> fucking Green Lantern to fucking Harley Quinn to fucking Blue Beetle, the fucking whatever the fuck, all has fucking great fucking paper. I don't. You didn't mean to include Green Lantern in one of the the lower listers, right? Well, I mean, mean, you would expect high quality paper for that. Of course, yes, yes. Very gentlemanly, gentlemanly, it's distinguished paper. Yes, (laughs) definitely not. Not fucking child rapist. Oh, come on. Speaking speaking of child rape. Speaking Maybe we child shouldn't. Rape, huh? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> it, 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 we're on my channel. I don't give a fuck about getting canceled. Speaking <laughs> of child rape. <laughs> who's familiar with Dane Cook? The comedian. I remember... He- that he did that movie with uh, Jessica um, Alba. Uh, what's just just no the blonde. Um, 
Oh, Jessica Simpson. Yeah, didn't he? Yeah, it was like they yeah. worked at a Walmart or something. Yeah, employee of the month. And then yeah. he, also, he also did Good Luck Chuck with uh, Jessica Alba. Okay. This motherfucker. I remember that one. This motherfucker just had some post and people are like talking about it like, uh, what the fuck? So he's posting bragging about celebrating his five year anniversary with his 23 year old girlfriend. <laughs> Do the math. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be he, just borderline, but <laughs> he, oh no, wait, was she twenty three or twenty? It, it it went back to where she was sixteen. Oh, so well, she couldn't have been twenty three. No, yeah, no, no. So she, it was younger, younger than that. And he's what? What like our age? Five year anniversary. Five year anniversary. Ooh. To Ooh. some girl. And when you do the math, she was 16 or something at the time. Oh, my so goodness. She's like 20 or 21. Okay? He's 50-something. Oh, my gosh. Okay? And that's recent news. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fucking Dean. Dane Cook. I was about to say Dean King. Yeah, I know. That's not. Oh, no. Never. <laughs> Yeah, that's gross. I I agree. That's that's I, honestly. I mean, even let's be honest. Being fifty now, so he's not our age, but you said he's in his fifties. Like, yeah, even even if, if she's in her twenties, like, no, come on. I'm sorry, on. but you know what? I'm forty right now, and if I told you I was dating a sixteen year old, I would expect. You <laughs> to call the police. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that that's that's just weird. Like you are you are a public fucking figure, bro. You know? Yeah, like, why would you post <laughs> yeah? No, no yeah, clue. Weird. No clue. Well, because you know, it's because they live in those their own little world, right? And they don't they, I think they just like lose touch with like what's acceptable and what's not. So they put that stuff out there thinking, oh yeah, everyone's going to be like, look at him. Like, yeah. no. <laughs> oh man, none of this shit works. Yeah, it's all coming out gray. Yeah, it sucks, dude. Because then if I use... that, That works better. If I use too much of it, then it comes out uh, glossy and sticky, and then so it'll stick to the bags. What if you uh spray that stuff on? Yeah, no, that won't. It, Marvel stays sticky no matter what you say, Frank Kadar. I love your, <laughs> I love your fucking work, but you don't know jack shit about fucking working on Marvel paper. Sorry. <laughs> I love how like. One argument with you, like you just never let it go. <laughs> you let it run through your head over and over. I've got principles, foo. I stick to them. <laughs> <laughs> did we or did we not already have this conversation? <laughs> watch, watch. You want to hear him? You want to hear him uh, get upset again? Just remind him about how he never won the spawn. What are you talking about? I want it. <laughs> You're the one that doesn't understand the fucking definition of win. I, I understand the definition of gift. I understand the fact that in a court of law that I fucking become uh, claim the winner of having No, it. the Have owner, you, but not the claim. winner. You know the Come winner, on, it was a competition to who could purchase the box and, you know... Open the winning thing. No, 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 no. Opening the box and winning the <laughs> prize. No. Means you are the winner. No. I'm sorry. 
You can't but... give somebody a win. Oh, really? How? How is that not possible? Have you have you seen the fucking news like on all those lottery ticket things where someone bought them a lottery ticket as a gift and that person won and then that person that bought them the ticket tries they get to, to keep sue it. Them. Yeah. No, they, they get try to, keep to sue it. them. And no 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 in no, court no. of law. You're right. You're right because you own it. I agree with that. They won. They no, won no, 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 no. The, the winning is not up for the court to decide. It's just the ownership. I'm sorry, but if you fucking own the fucking ticket that won the fucking jackpot. Well, and you, you and know the what? Court, and the court says. This has jury, nothing to do with the court. Why are you bringing the up the court? The court has no ruling over a win. By the way, Ivan agrees with me. He says, Squatch, love you, but you don't know shit. Oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> fucking. Oh, this fucking guy. Fucking Ivan. Okay. <laughs> okay. This All argument right. is so 2018. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ivan wants to be added to that list, I guess. I know you were, Ivan. That's the funniest part. <laughs> it's just so easy to get him going. This fucking guy. This is why I want to do a full hour on The Walking Dead. <laughs> this, this, this fucking Ivan cho chose violence. <laughs> I thought I thought Ivan was one of those ride or die motherfuckers that was like on team. You really squat. don't get it, do you? On team, he squat. was quoting you. What did I? What did I say? I don't know shit. I was taking his quote out of context, <laughs> and you make it so easy. He was laughing at you saying that about the other artist. Uh. <laughs> oh. Somehow uh, that's still still fucking Ivan fucking with me though. There you go. There you go. It's still your fault, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> there will still be a grudge. <laughs> and we'll be talking about it four years from now. <laughs> yeah. A few, <laughs> a few months from now when I say, you know what? Fuck you, Ivan. You'll know. <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> Because you want to fucking pop off and sound cool in front of Boo. <laughs> <laughs> He's waking the woman up. <laughs> I'm going to make this motherfucker orange as shit now because I can't get colors to show up on this fucking. It is funny. It wouldn't take any of the lighter colors. Oh, and now I've got to make it look like this motherfucker tans at fucking the same place that Jimmy Jam's fucking fitness fucking tans at. Fuck <laughs> you, Jimmy Fitness. <laughs> Look at this shit. It looks fucking ugly. I mean, I even did say you were gonna fuck this cover up. Yeah, he's seen me fuck some covers up. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan has been there, let me tell you. Ivan Have you had to there. ever scrap one? I almost did. And then <laughs> Ivan saw me fucking working on it and fucking again and again and again just to get it to where... But you can't do that on this Wolverine paper. It's just fucking it's glossy and sticky. Like, if I pressed against this, it'd stick to my finger. Wow. It's like they want you to use fucking color pencils on it or some shit, but then... You can't spray it with that protector because then the protector makes this fucking glossy paper. And it's not glossy. It's because they fucking they print glossy on the inside. Most sketch covers have a blank right here. But yeah, they, why are they printing on the inside? They do the cardstock, but then they print this gloss and it's embossed gloss. So it's like... Now, it, don't some have like the normal cover on the inside where they just yeah. put the... 
yeah, the most blank normal, on the outside. Normal fucking companies, not fucking Marvel. But, you know, don't say so that they're to putting it... fucking Kadar because he'll fucking <laughs> argue differently. <laughs> I would love to go back and see this argument and see if it wasn't just this guy like, eh, I've had him work for me. Squatch is like, you don't know anything. <laughs> No, it, holds the grudge for two it, years. It is. It is. No, I'm not gonna lie. It is kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's what cycled in your brain for so no, long was, now. The story he's talking is more. Like, no, the way he was talking it was like how how Gary talks to me. So I know he's being condescending. You know. <laughs> Like uh, and just being like this guy was being smug and acting like he his shit didn't stink. He was, <laughs> he was in the way that he was wording it. He was acting like his shit don't stink. And fuck that guy. Like, <laughs> you know, he he does great art, amazing art. I'm not gonna say he's not he's a bad artist because he's fucking amazing. And I've seen him work live. And everything he 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 well not live but I've seen his videos, and he he's amazing at what he does, but he's a piece of shit. <laughs> because he he doesn't have a problem with Marvel paper. No, he has a problem. He just fucking he. I don't think he fucking. I don't think he uses markers. I think he airbrushes everything like how oh. um, that dude from Turkey does, Gorkum yeah. or whatever. Like everything's airbrushed, so I don't think he's gonna have an issue with the paper. Like if I was, if I was painting, if you know, if I did acrylic paints on this shit, like this shit's glossy as fuck now. Like there's no, I should have just left this fucking pen. God damn it. And there's no way to get that to harden? Well, it it dries, but it's sticky. It stays sticky. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like... Everybody's going to be like, when, when fucking Sabertooth turned black? That's a dark Sabertooth, man. I thought it was a lot more pale than that. <laughs> But, like, if I try to use this blender now, it's just going to smudge it. And it's going to pull up all my black. See, now the, the blender is sticking to the paper. It just fucked up my blender. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking dark ass saber tooth. There's this. maybe you should try one time with this paper. Do like um, like a there negative cover. There we go. Let's just fucking get it wet and just pull it all up. Yeah, we'll just re-outline it. This is gonna dry up so ugly. Oh, well, I'd rather have him looking faded gray than fucking shiny Trump orange. <laughs> Look at that. Just pulling it all up. It still looks black. Wow. Oh, I'm so over it. God damn it. I ruined two blenders doing that. What? What's the blender? It's a, like, it has no color. It's the alcohol base that. Oh, I see. So you can blend it together. And, it, it, like, I didn't ruin it, but you ruin a lot of the fucking blending liquid. Because mm -hmm. no matter what they say, and I did this in my online course, too, teaching people. I don't know why they fucking call it a blender. Because it doesn't blend on anything, on anything, it does not blend on any kind of paper. If you're using marker paper, paper that was made for those markers, it doesn't blend. It 
lightens. So it will dull and lighten a color, but it will not blend two colors together. Like in you watch some videos where people are like, okay, first you do the dark and then you rub some of the blender on and then you go in with the light color or you or you do both of the colors and then you rub the blender together. I've watched so many videos to see what I'm doing wrong with this fucking shit. And and every fucking person that ever discusses how to do the blender says something different. And when you're watching them, they end up having to fucking go over it with the lighter color anyways. So it's like, you're not even fucking blending, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, because like what I'll do is I'll do the dark color and then I'll take the light color and blend into it instead of using the blender. And then if it's too dark, I'll take the blender and rub it over the dark area and it lightens it up. And then I go over it again with the light. But you can't just use it to blend like you watch on some of these videos. These people are so full of shit. (laughs) This is going to be a joke coloring this shit now. (sighs) You should try doing like a photo negative with this paper sometime. I, I think I'm over this paper. I think I'm going to, from now <laughs> on, like, this is why I'm trying to, like, I'm not really waiting for commissions, and I'm just going to keep on doing sketch covers on, on the titles that I have, mm-hmm. be, because I want to eventually have enough money to where, like I said, like, I'm going to print that book that is the sketch cover with just a Squatchy Comics logo somewhere, like, probably down at the bottom yeah and then it's gonna be just a book of all the sketch covers i've done like not all of them but you know like the greatest hits or whatever and you know maybe some stuff written about it and stuff like that but basically it's just a sketch cover of sketch covers you know what i mean so then that way I don't have to worry if it's a Marvel book. or It's like DC Kramer's book. coffee table book that turns into a coffee table. Yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know who that is, but... From Seinfeld. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so I don't have to worry about having Marvel paper or DC paper or... Right. Like, you can control the quality. Yeah, and it, because Comics Wellspring, the Squatchy and Foo uh, sketch covers, that's some of the best paper other than the X Files, X Files, whatever company I think it's IDW, whoever printed season eleven X Files, <laughs> fucking paper. That is the best fucking paper I've ever worked on in my life. And one of and I think books, Ivan owns all those. Ivan, he? yeah, he's got all of them. And fucking, and there's one that I, like is my favorite book I've ever done, and he's got it. And yeah, I'm just like, fuck, dude. Like, I had so much fun doing that cover because it blended every way that I wanted to. It it, it literally. Which one? Uh, it's the one with Mister uh, Chuckles Teeth, Mister Chuckle Teeth from the X Files. Mister Chuckle Teeth. I don't remember that one. Um. It's from season eleven. It the it's the witchcraft episode. The lady was doing witchcraft and making kids see their the TV shows that they watched. So they had like Mister Chuckles' teeth, the, the, which was like a fancy mask, and then they had those like demonic Teletubbies and shit. Huh. But best paper ever because like I truly like I love to paint, and that's where I always originally was with art and everything was painting and that felt like painting to me because I was able to blend and get all the colors the way that I wanted every way and I in that book I barely had to like how I highlight with all the pens and stuff I barely had to do certain areas because it it blended so perfect like I'm so proud of that piece (laughs) (laughs) But like all the X Files ones, I'm really proud of because they blended so fucking perfectly. He's got another one too of the Lizard Man, 
uh, and that one I fucking love too because I did that like a like a east uh, what was it a EC like the horror comics. Oh yeah, yeah. But that paper's best <laughs> paper ever. But Comics Wellspring, the Squatchy and Food paper, that's good paper too. Really good paper. And and they have they have it where it's printed on the inside too, but it's still good fucking paper. Oh, I know that one with that that puppet thing. I've seen that one that you did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I was watching X Files by that point. I, I I mainly watched the earlier seasons and then the movies. Uh, yeah, I I've been. I tried getting into the the new stuff that came out. X Files has been. It's one of those shows that I watched from day one, never missed an episode. I went and saw the movies in the theater. I didn't really like the second movie because it didn't seem like X Files to me. Yeah, but I used to love that show. But it was like uh, I was, I was just crossing over into my twenties, and other stuff was happening. And I just wasn't really paying attention to much TV at that point. You know what was a good show that was like X-Files 2 that not a lot of people are keen to and they don't know about it, but it was called Dark Skies, or I I believe it was Dark Skies. And there's a movie about aliens called Dark Skies, but this was like, it was like literally where fucking like right. It's, it's like a. It's the TV knockoff. It's like it, it would be the WB's knockoff of X Files, but it was actually good. Is, is that the one with the guy from ER? I don't know who. I don't know. Uh, what. Was it about aliens taking yeah. over? Yeah. And he had he had a female partner, but then she ended up getting possessed by the alien thing. Like it took the kids. Uh, is that no, the are same you, show? I think that's a movie you're talking about. No, they didn't take Dark any Sky. kids. So it's called Dark Skies. Okay, well, uh, there's some other. Oh no, it's not the one I'm thinking of. Then there's a Dark Skies alien abduction movie where they take kids. God, I should not the fucking color. Yeah, no, I, I must be thinking of some different movie or a different show oh instant regret on coloring this <laughs> i'm gonna have to go over it with paint pens basically like i'm laying the base and then i'm gonna have to come over with acrylic markers and then it's just gonna look oh. this is gonna be another <laughs> one i'm gonna have to sell cheap Well, you have good luck with that. I'm going to have to uh, say goodnight. I got to get up early tomorrow. Yep. Oh, it's fucking 9 o'clock. It's 11 here. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock and it's about 90-something degrees. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's been hot here, too. Not that so, hot. Hell. Well. All right. Well, I will uh, talk to you later and... Uh, if it works out tomorrow, maybe we can uh, go live and discuss Walking Dead. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> you have to bring your uh, your picture though. Oh yeah, the picture of you <laughs> shriveled after wearing the. No, not that one. Your your picture of uh, Andrew Lincoln. <laughs> oh, f- that's right here. That's right next to me. He's always he's as always it should be. Me. He's always with me. <laughs> It could. <laughs> I'll see you, Ivan. See you, Scotch. Yep, later. Bye. I'm surprised Gary didn't show up. <sighs> well, what do you want to hear me rant about now, Ivan? <laughs>
This is just pulling up the marker. God, Marvel is so cheap. Oh, fucking Marvel. I can't believe he teamed up with Fu, Ivan. That cat now. Steve, 
Go get some water, Bubba. Go get a drink. Go get a drink. Tell me I'm going to give you some water. I'm going to have to go over this whole thing with paint markers. Marvel. There, see, you opened the door. Did you go get some water? Huh? You feel better now? You feel better? You need some water, huh, Bubba? Some water. 
That's a thirsty bitch, huh, boy? I'm just sitting here. Oh, Alright, I'm getting frustrated, so I'm going to end up cutting the feed here. I don't know who watched it for a full two hours. Probably Ivan, you haven't said anything in a minute, though, but if you end up watching this, Gary, this is what working looks like. This is what working looks like. I may have fucking completely royally fucked the paint job on this but I'll fix it but you know what you can't fix 19 weeks of not fucking working Gary 19 have a good night motherfuckers <laughs>